Year 11, you've completed the difficult bit, the bringing in of all of the ingredients and the lovely food that you've created. So now we're working towards the uh, written exam, which will be in the summer. Uh, revision is extremely important. Hopefully over the next few slides, I've given you a few tips on how to do this successfully. So next slide. You all have a revision guide at home, and if you haven't got one, you need to let me know. This is the first thing I would start using for successful revision. Don't forget, this, this uh, revision guide has been designed especially for this exam board, WJEC and EDUCAS. So it uses the same language which will be used in your written paper. It's set out beautifully. In the start, there is there are two or three pages which say my revision planner and you've got like a tick box to check that you've revised all of the subjects. Now, how it's laid out in the middle as you go through, it's all, all goes through in sections. But if you can look at the middle sheet in the red box, you can see there are exam tip techniques there. So if you have a read through those as you work through the books, these are very good. After each section, there is also a now test yourself knowledge checker. That's worth doing. Finally, at the back of the book, there is a section on success in the examination. Really good with exam tips and techniques. It also goes through the command words that this exam board use, like discuss, state, in evaluate that's also a really good read so please use your revision guides let me know if you haven't got one at home and I will supply you with one thank you next slide revising really works they say that by revising it can increase your grades by two that is very worthwhile Get creative with this, uh, whichever way you do it, with post-it notes, with mind maps, your thing, whatever it is, writing rhymes. Anyway, here are some examples of some creative revision notes. I've got loads of templates for this if you ever want to come in and get hard copies and um, revision cards and things like that. So two marks for revising and seeing those words written down on paper helps your spelling, uh, it he helps you visualize the words and the answers. So when you get into the exam, you've actually physically seen this before. It is really good to write things down. Next slide, please. Now don't rely on this too much, but there are also, also some good resources, Seneca, Make sure in Seneca you're using the food preparation and nutrition book, which is to do with EDUCAS because there's two books that is set out. Uh, that's an online res learning resource and it's set out just like your revision guide. So it goes in exactly the same order. And that's quite a nice little quick uh, revision thing that you could do to test yourself, really sort of sitting on the bus or wherever you're going. Um, you could use that. Now also BBC Bite Size have one, but it's called Home Economics, Food and Nutrition. That is not set out as your book is, but it's also got a really useful revision, little tests and things at the back of that. Thank you. Next slide. Finally, Past papers and mark schemes are also a really good way of getting used to the paper. Now, none of them will be exactly the same, but what you will find out is how the paper is set up. So, for example, you'll always know that question one is going to be responses to pictures, photographs. It could be cooking methods. It could be how to make shoe, pastry or bread. But there will be pictures on question one. Question two is usually write, uh, reading data and responding to data in a graph or in a chart, but they're all set up the same way. You can, can get used to the language of the paper, how many marks are on offer, how, how the paper works. So please use past papers just to have, know what you are expecting. Mark schemes I find brilliant on how to tackle long answer questions. 
for example, at towards the back of the paper, there's some maybe 10 markers, 12, 13, 14 markers. And sometimes few of you run out of information to use, content to use in long answer questions. Well, a really good idea is to look at the mark scheme on a long answer question. Think about all the responses, all the different points you could add to one of the answers and link them together to make a full paragraph or two paragraphs. So for long answer questions, I think mark schemes are absolutely brilliant. And remember, uh, for one good uh, P, one P is worth two marks. OK, so if you've got something worth 14 marks, you're looking for seven good points in an answer. Below on this slide is the link to all of the past papers and mark schemes. So good luck with your revising. Let me know if there's anything else I can offer you and see you soon. Bye.